Well, TransCanada was looking at putting a pipeline through here, and what a lot of people don't know is they care about not only the uh, wildlife resources, the archaeological resources, but also the paleontological resources. Three years ago, Paul McNeil was carrying out paleontological work near the coastal gas link pipeline proposed route. Oh my, yeah, I just like a little kid when I saw it. <laughs> I was with my assistant at the time. Uh, I said, watch out for dinosaur tracks in here because this looks like a good locality. She kind of looked at me and gave me the, yeah, right. And as we were coming along, we stopped at a few sites. Then we finally got to here and I'm like, dinosaur tracks. And she's like, really? I'm like, really? Somewhere around 100 million years ago, northeastern BC was an ancient marsh-filled beach, home to the plant-eating Ankylosaurus. It was a four-legged armored dinosaur, which some paleontologists describe as a living tank for its relatively short, wide body. With its distinctive tail club, the Ankylosaurus stretched 10 meters in length, but only stood two meters tall and weighed in at around six tons. So you can imagine the dinosaurs walking along this nice beach and leaving the tracks in the sand. And we can actually see the rear foot here, three toes. And you can see as it stepped, it put its whole foot down into the sediment. Uh, so it was walking with the foot flat. This actually gives us more information to realize that they actually did stand on their tiptoes on the front foot instead of putting the whole foot flat. So it gives us better information on understanding how these dinosaurs lived, breathed, and moved. These are brilliant tracks from this region. So the same kind of thing that, uh, that you guys brought in. Dr. Richard McCrae is the director and curator of paleontology at the Peace Region Paleontology Research Centre in Tumbler Ridge, BC. The main exhibit hall features two ankylosaur models and several dinosaur tracks. Well, worldwide, they're rare. But in Western Canada, they are all over the place. So they're quite, uh, in some places, they're, they're dominant. That's the dominant track type. Just so I can get my fingers underneath. Today, McNeil is back, and those ankylosaur footprints are about to go on a journey. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, yeah. oh that's easy. Oh. We're in a fairly inaccessible part of northeastern British Columbia. We can't drive a truck in to take it out. So luckily, the, re the resources have been donated to help with this extraction. Thank you very much, Trans Canada. And the plan is to put this slab into a cargo net where we're going to sling it out by helicopter and drop it onto a waiting flatbed trailer where we'll then drive it to its final resting place in Tumble Ridge. TransCanada conducts field work so that cultural and historic resources are identified, respected and protected prior to the pipeline route being finalized. This ensures that the pipeline project is designed, constructed and operated in a safe and environmentally responsible manner. Our goal is to find the best possible route, a project that will have the least impact on the environment, which avoids or mitigates impacts on sites of historical significance. After a whirlwind trip by ground, by air and by road, the Ankylosaur tracks arrive at its new home at the Paleontology Research Center in Tumblr Ridge. Yep, Ankylosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Very excited. This is a this is a wonderful specimen and a great uh, great donation from uh, you know from industry. This is fantastic. We're learning a lot more uh, about these dinosaurs in this area that we'd never really known before. So this is kind of a new and exciting area for dinosaur research. It speaks very well of an industry to do this because it is, to, to an extent, voluntary. 